Today we got word that Tyler Glasnow, pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays, has been put on the injured list with an ulnar collateral ligament injury. Now this can be a devastating injury for a pitcher. Let's review this injury in more detail. For those who don't know me, my name is Soman, and I'm a resident doctor specializing in sports and exercise medicine. On this channel, I break down injuries as they happen so that average fans can better understand what's going on. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Now, let's go back and look at his injury. So yesterday, during the Rays versus White Sox game, Tyler Glasnow was definitely not looking too comfortable with that elbow. When you see a pitcher start shaking their, their arm and their pitching hand, not a good sign. So, I mean, there was really no acute injury per se that was really causing this. But, you know, even he says in reports that he didn't feel right. He felt like something was off. And I mean, any any coach, any athletic therapist and doctor would end up pulling him off the field to assess that elbow, given that pitchers exude such tremendous, unique forces on that pitching arm. So I want you to pay attention to how Tyler pitches. And this is really important in terms of understanding his injury. So for the most part, we're going to get the view from the back, but essentially it's this motion right here. So if we come back and play this through a little bit slower, what you're going to notice is that once they step forward and they go into that overhead phase, the arm actually goes back and puts an enormous amount of stress on the inner aspect. If any of you have tried to throw a football, a baseball, you'll know that you'll get a lot of medial elbow joint stress. And if you look at this sideline view of, you know, him going into the apex of his throw, this is the type of external rotation that you're getting on your elbow. These type of athletes have so much in external rotation that they actually lose a little bit of internal rotation as, and, and that's normal for them. But what I want you to see here is that there's a, a tremendous amount of force, and we call that force, valgus force on the elbow, that's placed in this area. And that's exactly where this UCL injury is located. So if we look at our right elbow here, I've put on some ligaments, I've put on some muscles, and what we're seeing here is that's your elbow joint. So if we zoom into this elbow joint, you know, this is the outside of the elbow, this is the inside. And as you see here, this here I'm highlighting is joint capsule. So if we remove that joint capsule, this is your elbow joint here. Your elbow joint will flex, extend, and go back and forth. Now, what happens is in Tyler's case, the UCL ligament is this one here. It's on the middle aspect of the elbow and it prevents excessive force of your elbow going out. Now in a pitcher, that has an enormous amount of stress. The levels of force that pitchers get to when they pitch 80 mile per hour fastballs is actually enough to start injuring these things. But over time, the muscles in the area start to start to create a lot of stability in that elbow joint. Now reports state that Glasnow does have a, a partial tear of this UCL ligament as well as a flexor tendon strain. So what's a flexor tendon strain? Essentially all these muscles here that help flex your hand, they're located on the inside aspect and they'll come up here and attach here. So if we look here, all of these tendons are attaching to this area. And if you look at it, it's very consistently just right over the area of the UCL ligament. So it's not uncommon to have a bit of a strain in this, in, in this flexor tendon, as well as that partial tear of the UCL or that full tear of the UCL. Now, Glasnow has been taken out with a partial UCL tear, which is a better predicament than a full tear. Unfortunately, with high level pitchers, you know, he's gonna try to rehab this conservatively. So give it some rest, hold off on high velocity pitching because that's gonna make it worse in high volume pitching. Start working on range of motion, start working on eccentric exercises and see whether or not he can get that strength back. Unfortunately, with high level pitchers though, it's not uncommon for these things to have to go to surgery because they put such an enormous torque on that elbow, something that we don't see in a normal patient population and outside of high level pitchers, which pitch for the MLB. So it's gonna be a little bit of touch and go to figure out whether or not, you know, Tyler's gonna be okay with, with some therapy and so forth out for maybe a few, a few weeks to a few months. If it is surgery though, you're looking at months and it, it could very well take away the season for him. Although we're not too sure right now. The important thing is that the team does not force him to pitch. Reason why is if you continue to exert these forces on the elbow while there's a partial tear, he can very well fully rupture that ligament, in which case it is 100% surgical. So once I have more information, I will update all of you below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video and want to stay up to date on more videos I do in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. For now, that's all.